Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 11 of Angular 8 Unit Testing with Jasmine and Kerma, we are going to look at Asynchronous Testing Part 2. And objective of this video is to discuss the issue with done and async asynchronous testing and how to use fake async and take functionality to perform asynchronous testing. Now, in previous video, we have learned to use the done callback. Now, the done callback helps us to test the asynchronous code, but the problem with the done callback is we have to know all the promises associated with the given test and we have to identify when they will be resolved. So, in order to resolve them, there is another utility present that is called async when stable. Now, with the async, it creates a specific test zone that will execute the asynchronous test within that test zone. But we have to lay out our expect functions within when stable and we have to wait until all the execution is complete. That is, now in case of this example, we have to wait until all the promises are resolved, only then it enters the when stable callback and executes our rest of the code. Now, it makes our code difficult to read, not unreadable, but difficult to read and it will complicate our situation if there are more than few promises are involved because we have to keep our entire code within this when stable. Now, in order to resolve this, Angular has provided us another utility function for testing asynchronous code that is called fake async. Well, the fake async function executes the test code in a special fake async test zone, similar to async test zone, and it uses a tick utility which blocks the execution of all the micro tasks associated with set timeout, set interval, promises or animation and simulates passage of time until all the asynchronous tasks are executed and fake async and tick test the asynchronous code in synchronous way. Now, what do you mean by testing the asynchronous code in a synchronous way? So, using fake async and tick, it will help us to execute the code step by step. That means it will make it appear that asynchronous tasks are being executed in a synchronous. Now, let's go and see an example of fake async and tick. Now, here I am going to just copy the existing function that we have returned for async. Right here. Now, instead of async test zone, I am going to include our test in a fake async. So, I am going to add fake async. Now, here I have enclosed my test code within a fake async. I am going to change it here as well. Now, since we have changed this, we don't need the when stable callback. So, I am going to remove this one and I am going to add tick. Now, comparing with async and when stable, our code has become more readable and in this case, what happens is that fake async will enclose our entire code in a fake async zone and once our steps are getting executed the tick will stop the execution of all the promises so we have a promise that needs to be resolved here so in this case for all those people who have not viewed that is the asynchronous testing part one here we have prepared an example to search the product based on a string from a product list so search text will give us the search string and here we have prepared a spy on which will help us to spy on filter product list. Now this filter product list method returns a promise containing all the filtered out products based on the given search string and then we are going to execute the 
filter product list of component. Once this filter product list is executed, our example detects the changes, then checks the first item in the list and expects that the first item in the list to contain the search text. Now, in this case, what happens is that filter product list executes the service method filter product list and it returns a promise. Now, the tick functionality will hold the execution of our test until the promise from this filter product list is executed. Once that promise is executed and all the micro tasks related to it are completed, then it will proceed and execute our test. Now, here you can see how the fake async and the tick utility help us to execute the asynchronous code and make our test code much more readable compared to done callback and async. Now, I have already saved and executed this test. Let's see the result. Here you can see should test filter product list is executed successfully. Then I have prepared another example that will help us to understand how the fake async and tick help us to execute the asynchronous code in a synchronous way. Now here is another example that I have prepared to demonstrate how fake async and tick simulate the testing of asynchronous code in a synchronous way. Now in this example, I have already enclosed the test function in fake async zone and I have added a is locked in boolean variable which is set to false and also added a set timeout. The set timeout will set the value of boolean variable after 100 milliseconds. Now after the set timeout, I have added a expectation which checks is logged in to be false. It will be false because it will be true only after 100 milliseconds. Then here is our main part. I have added tick and passed 50 milliseconds to it. Now tick utility in the previous example, we had not passed any parameter. But here we have passed 50 milliseconds. Now tick utility takes in two parameters. First is the millisecond or the time and second is the tick option. And in this example, we have used only the milliseconds parameter. Now here the tick utility will block the execution or simulate the passage of 50 milliseconds of time and then come to the next expectation which again checks whether is logged in is to be false. It will be false. Why? Because it will be set to true only after 100 milliseconds. Then the next line is take utility and which again blocks the execution another 50 milliseconds. That means it will simulate the execution of another 50 milliseconds and then it will come to the next line. Expect is logged in to be true. At this point, 100 milliseconds have passed and is logged in is set to true. Once is logged in set to true, this expectation will pass as well. So this entire test is passed. Why? Because of fake async and tick, we are able to test our functionality at a set of intervals of 50 milliseconds. This is how the fake async and tick help us to test the asynchronous code in a synchronous way. So you can see every test is executed in a synchronous manner, step by step manner. So this is how fake async and tick works. Now I'm going to execute this test case. So I had put X to exclude it from the execution. Now I'm going to remove it and put an F here so that we focus only on the asynchronous test. So let's wait for its execution. Now it has executed successfully. Now coming back to the browser. Here you can see the example fake async and take test the asynchronous code in a synchronous way is executed successfully. So this is how we can test our asynchronous code using fake async and tick. I hope you have liked both the videos that is the 
asynchronous testing part 1 video and asynchronous testing part 2 video that is this video if you have any queries or concern please write it in the comment section and do subscribe thank you